Yugo Kobayashi up against a pair that's in really good form, having won the German Open last week, Li Zhehui and Wang Po Xuan. Well, as we saw earlier, the men's doubles draw the rarity and the wonderful sight of seeing eight different flags next to the eight pairs of quarter-final stage. Only six seeds, though, at quarter-final, three in each half of the draw. We lost Liu Yu Chen and Liu Xuanyi in the second round, and another Chinese pair, the former world number ones and current number uh, two seeds, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. But uh, if you were with us earlier, you will have enjoyed uh, Ranky Reddy and Shetty's match against Kang and Xiu, the reigning world champions. And so Ranky Reddy and Shetty are through to a third final in their third tournament of the year. combination from Japan. An eighth consecutive French Open for them, and it's a first ever semi-final at this particular tournament. Three previous quarterfinals, but this is clearly the best they've done at the French Open, but I'm pretty certain they want to go at least one better than semi-final stage. Li Zhehui, who is a former winner of the French Open with his former partner, Li Yang. Uh, that was back in 2017. Now playing with Yang Po Xuan. Caused a sensation last week, uh, winning the German Open. Had to save a match point in the second game before winning in a very, very close deciding game in Mulheim at that German Open. Well, this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs and of the previous three. It may surprise some that the pair from Chinese Taipei have won two of them. But the last time they played, it was the former world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi. And that was in the second round of the Kumamoto Masters 500 event. And as you saw, it was three games in Kumamoto. 21-19 in the deciding game. So, Hoki and Kobayashi won the toss of the coin and have chosen ends. Well, we were rather concerned about this man, Takoro Hoki, yesterday, about his movements. He's got his left knee very heavily strapped, and he did appear to be struggling with his movement round the head. 28 years of age from Yamaguchi, and they are former world number ones, twice world championship medalists, gold 
in Welver in 2021, having lost in the final of the previous World Championships in Basel in 2019. Yugo Kobayashi is also 28 years of age from Miyagi Prefecture on the east coast of Hongshu. And this is their third semi-final in their third tournament of the year. And so they've been playing well at the start of 2024. A beat the European Championship silver medalist Dunham Hall of Scotland in the first round, then three games against the beaten finalists from two years ago, Lu Ching Yao and Yang Po Han. And then they beat the defending champions, Astrup and Rasmussen, again coming from a game down and in fact 14-17 down in the second game before winning 21-15 in the deciding game. Yang Po Xuan is 27 years of age from Tainan, south of the island, the oldest city on the island. His partner will turn 30 later this month. He's from Taipei and he's the shorter of the two. That equates to about five foot in Nevin. His partner, six foot one. So a fifth consecutive appearance at the French Open for the pair from tiny Chinese Taipei as a combination. And look at their set of results. Well, last year's beaten finalists, Fikri and Mulana in the first round. Then the former world number ones, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang, needed three games to get past them. And then the former world number one, Selfie and Anardianto in the quarterfinals. So have beaten two of pairs who have been ranked number one in the world in two consecutive days here at the French Open. Sudeep Bave of India is our umpire for this one. And Michaela Benkova of the Czech Republic is the service judge. It's time to play some badminton again. And it's time to make some Chen Hung Ling, Chinese Taipei coach, former World Championship bronze medalist with Wang Chi Lin. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi, Japan. And on my left, Yang Po Chuan and Li Zewei, Chinese Taipei. Takuro Hoki to serve to Lisa Hui. Love all. Play. So Hoki and Kobayashi in all white kit. Former world champions and number six seeds here at the French Open. Getting this last semi final of the day underway. Oh, that's a good smash from. Major Quay. Service over, one luck. Oh, oh. 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 Yesterday, Steen, you were saying one that with off. the pair from Chinese Taipei, it's all or nothing with them. They they don't really go for safety shots. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not in their vocabulary. <laughs> it so makes it very exciting but, but to watch. But it's not it's not like they play um, unwise or anything. They they can play block shots, but they're just playing at a magnificent pace. Yeah. Um so the short of the so front line. Two. I also oh. think the Japanese pair, they played themselves into the tournament yesterday. Uh, as you mentioned, at 17-14 in the second game, there was nothing that was indicating that we would see him oh. here today. Yeah. And suddenly, they stepped up. Yugo Kobayashi. 
Walcott and uh, Takura Hoki took charge of the front court. And uh, from then on, they never really looked back. So uh, this could be a fantastic match. It's gone long with the back line. Four, two. Service over, three, four. Oh, you read that. Idra, way. Service over, five, three. We saw pretty short rallies in the first of the men's doubles semi-finals, didn't we, Steen? Do you think we're going to see the same here? Yeah. Now, that movement, I thought, was worrying Six, from Hoki. Three. I missed it. That's the uh, left knee there and the strapping that we are yeah. concerned about. Seven, three. Good oh. shot. Oh. Well, obviously, Yu Chou Hui and Yang Po Xuan are trying to reach the final of two consecutive World Tour events. Steam the last men's doubles pair to do that. Uh, Rank ready and shit? No. Yeah. The last pair was Sergi Ting out. and Ren Xian Wu because they were in the final, won That's the right. Thailand Masters, That's and right. they lost in the German. Yeah. But Ranky, you're right, Ranky Reddy and Shetty were the last pair to win or, or to reach two finals in two weeks. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there was time in between. Yeah. Just caught the line. Good challenge. Service over. Eight, four. Play. Oh, yes. <laughs> Service over. Five, eight. Service over, nine, five. In many ways, um, this do or die attitude was also what Matthias Ball preached for his Indian pair in the previous semi final. Super aggressive. Trying to put pressure on Ten, the five. opponents and. Uh, it seems like that's the way to go in uh, men's doubles at the moment. Yeah, especially in these fast conditions. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Fabulous rally. Amazing. Weathering the storm, Li Jiafei and Yang Po Xuan. Having to defend ferociously in the early stages, but their reward is a handsome six point advantage at the mid game interval against the number six seeds from Japan. Oh, 
That was amazing defense. He stepped into that. Young Po Xuan. So 11-5 for the advantage to the unseeded pair from Chinese Taipei. Oh yes, that's super. Great awareness of the gap in between the two opponents. Uh, it's super important for the Japanese pair that Hoka gets his game going on the front court. Should be the uh, better of the four players in that particular part of the court. Well, it was cool good. Uh, I, I have a feeling that was well wide, wasn't it? Let's I think so too. It's very difficult to see where it lands. It so I, th I think that landed on the blue carpet. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. See what Hawking says. I'm not sure they have a blue color there. <laughs> Just couldn't deal with the pace there. It was good placement as well. That's a pity. Found the open space. Hawkey. Remember, Steve, he was the front court player when Li Jiahui played with Li Yang. No, I don't remember. No. I don't have a good enough um, picture of them. Yeah. In fact, I can't really remember how they uh, looked when they played together. Yeah. Because the focus was on Wang Chilin and Chen Hongbing, who were the better pair um, yeah. most of the times, at least. Uh, and then Li Jiahui and Li Yang showed up occasionally. My, my bet would be Li Yang because I feel Li Jiahui, he's got quite a good attack from the back court as well. Not that Li Yang doesn't have a good attack from the back court, but I just feel he's got a little bit more punch in his uh, smash. Yeah. Okay, body side, Jumbe. Something on the body on the second shot. No! Service over. 16, Maybe I was trying 12. to translate Japanese with uh, <laughs> English. I'm not sure. Service over. 13. 
of serve, so these players hit the net court on the return of serve too often oh! for it just to be like. Perspective as they've been six points adrift at mid game interval. One felt they were just about to catch back up and really challenge. And it was that side of the court where they came back oh! against the Danes yesterday. When they started their comeback. Now it was 17 14. That was a lucky okay, scoreline right, from right, yesterday. Right. Yeah, indeed. Seven of the next eight points they won yesterday yeah. against the Danes. Lovely simple service return just across the net. And then super powerful attack. by Ashley, the only player that hasn't made a service I error so far. No, I think he has made one. Has he? Yeah. I think he did previously from there. No. Service over. Two points away from the game. Hey. Hey. Lucky left court. Game point opportunities, four of them. Philly Zhou Kui and Yang Po Xuan. a good return of serve that set up Lee to Frey and young Paul Schwann. 21-18 confirms the umpire opening game to prepare from Chinese Taipei. I love first, I love it. Just I love first, I just smash it. Oh, stop. Okay, stop. It's not good, no. 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 I think my job is here. Okay? Power up or stop it. It's safe. Okay? Go back to the rest of 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 the 后面一样的动作来说，快慢，快慢，快慢，然后自己一直去。你看他跳，你跳起来，然后你要听到后面的动作，你就往这边跑。然后你就一直换，一直换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，换，
Second game. Low. Play. So one game to the good, Li Jiu Hui and Yang Po Xuan. 21-18 that opening game against the higher ranked and higher seeded pair. Yeah, got caught a little off balance. I think I caught one thing from uh, Tan Kim Ho's coaching that um, Japanese were in defense. They were going to play the first high and then block the next. So not giving the front court player of Chinese Taipei pair the option to uh, intercept it and kill it. Good play here from Takura Hoki. and look at the angle. That's fantastic. Nice. Oh! Yeah, yeah. And the defense is working. Instead of trying to get it away, to the back line, the block kept the uh, Japanese pair alive. Oh. Line judge changed their mind. Just remember that it was a service. <laughs> yeah. Takoro Hoku, Steen, is that I think he is worried about his movement yeah. and, and therefore he's not really getting in position properly. And every time he hits the shuttle, because if he's... If, what, look at his movement there. Yeah. Yeah. He was taking an extra step, step. breaking yeah. the pace on the right leg. Yeah, that's right. So he, he's probably feeling pressure on himself. He's a winner because he doesn't want to move for the next one. And yeah. in trying to do that, he's making errors. Because he's not in position. If he's a little bit out of position, yeah. then it's easy to put it uh, long. When you try to go for the shot that you would have been able to do had you been in a uh, totally fine position. I agree. Soft pace shots to the uh, front court from both sides. So oh. oh. again from uh, Yoko Kobayashi. Oh. 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 Oh.
take it all. Yeah, it wasn't Bob. the best of serves, was it? I thank you, Mr. Jerb. Brilliant. Brilliant. What a rally. That's clever final shot from the left-handed Yugo Kobayashi. Very clever. Look how deep he was in his <laughs> defensive stance. He was on the double service line. He was. No wonder he couldn't get there for the drop shot. Eight, six. And a change of momentum in favor of uh, these two in uh, white and yellow. and his coaches. <laughs> you could see he landed somewhere in between a, a high lift, an attempted high lift and a block, and knew immediately that uh, he sort of uh, sold that point to Kurohoki. Oh! Service problems. Yeah. Yeah, push one. Ten, eight. Last time he served, he was punished by Kobayashi. running has been so far. <laughs> <laughs> less than 20, definitely less than 20 shots. Good return of serve. 11, and it is the former world champions Takoro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi who have the one point advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game. Good, huh? Condition good. Service here. Zero, zero. One, zero. Service here. Okay. Behind it. Okay. So that's you sitting here. And next up. Hey, take it up, man. No lock start. No lock start. Fighting. No lock start. Okay? No lock start. No lock start. Get the hand. Push, push, push. Go higher, man. Go higher, man. Go higher, man. 20 seconds. Yes. 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 So just one solitary point between these two pairs here in the second game. Oh, that's nice placement of the smash. He's just gone off the boil, hasn't he? He has in everything else. But the smashes, young Puswan has um, gone off the boil. Oh. 
That's a perfect serve. Five straight points. And this could well be decisive. Six straight points. Wow. So accidentally, because his low serve have been so uh, relatively poor, Jan Poswan figure out to flick to uh, to pull a hockey flick out of the. Um, Oh, towards the uh, sideline. Yeah, there's that movement. 30, Deep in the backhand corner that Takoro Hoki has really struggled with. Second game under control, Hoki and uh, Kobayashi. Varying well in terms of pace. Fantastic. He's always oh. entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Inspecting the cross court lift, which he was going to try and intercept. Well, they lifted straight. Two points away from the second game. Service over 14, 19. Bounce back from out jumping yourself in uh, one rally. Well, we've seen some comebacks this week, haven't we? It's more than possible. Oh, it was a good serve. <laughs> Only two points in it now. Oh, a run of four straight points. <laughs> what a serve. One point in it. That is remarkable. Oh, 
Oh, it's gone long. And now it's two game point opportunities for Hoki and Kobayashi to make this semi-final. Take there. But it is Yan Po Xuan to serve, and he's been struggling with his serve. I need a little. Mm. Oh, that was a good one, Sai. Wow! The back level. 20 all. And extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. That's a challenge. Yeah, they have challenge too. I'm not sure they're going to win it, but it's definitely worth challenging. Yeah. It was in. That's a great challenge. And now it is a match point opportunity. Having just saved two game points, now Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Xuan have a match point. Oh. Shuttle was deflected by hitting the top of the tape made it very difficult for Yang Po Xuan. 21 all. The gap, yeah. And they've earned themselves a second match point opportunity. Lee and Yang. When you think they were 13 19 down in this second game, now on the verge of victory. Good serve. And they've done it. Two finals in two weeks. <laughs> for Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Xuan. A remarkable comeback from 13-19 down in the second game. 21-18, 23-21. Winning on their second one match point Lee opportunity. Li and Yang Po Xuan, 21-18, 23-21. is the final point. Absolute delight. It's a second final at the French Open for Lee Jofwe. Seven years after his first when he won the title three. 